Okay, um, if things couldn't get any stranger, I don't know if there's anything to this or not. It's um, this information kind of popped up on one of the feeds I I watched, not a not a YouTube or Google feed, but just my feed in general. And um, so I thought I'd make a quick video out of it. Um, this is a CNET article. Lab making salami out of Jennifer Lawrence. Bite Labs insist it is growing meat from celebrity tissue samples. Oh, of course, Kanye is one of them. It seems hard to swallow. Um, and if you scroll down, it's dated February 27th, 2014. Eat celebrity meat. Bite Labs grows meat from celebrity tissue samples and uses it to make artisanal salami. Here's Bite Labs website. Uh, you've never experienced celebrities like this. Uh, celebrity. It all starts with your favorite celebrities and a quick biopsy to obtain tissue samples. And then culture, isolating muscle stem cells, we grow celebrity meat in our proprietary bioreactors, meats in, t in the tradition of Italian cured meats, we dry, age, and spice our product into fine whatever that word is, charcuterie, I don't know what that word is, and it says learn more about our process. Bite Labs produces fine meat. Okay, I'm not going to read it all. Of course, <laughs> I don't know why Winston Churchill's there. Maybe they've got him uh, a lot of his tissue samples saved, and we can actually um, order up some Churchill. In 1931, Winston Churchill predicted a future when it, in which all the world's meat would be grown in labs. What he asked was the sense in raising a whole chicken merely for the sake of its wings or breast meat. I don't know if he predicted that or not. Um, he may well have. Imagine meat like never before. You can check it out. I'll put links in the below. Um, get back to the article. The article writer comes at it from a skeptical perspective. Whenever someone tells me they're serious, I'm wary. Whenever someone tells me they're 100% serious, I imagine their nose is at twice the length. So when I hear that Bite Labs is making salami out of celebrity tissue, I reach for a precautionary Kleenex. Uh, Bite Labs offers an, an impressive headline. Eat celebrity meat. After all, it's what we do every day. I mean, if you watch the Grammys, if you watch, I mean, I, not that I did, but if you see clips of the Grammys or the, uh, what did they just have, the Oscars, and and um, I couldn't, it was on the TV for a little while the other night as I was walking through the house, and I mean, it's like the pe the fans are just screaming. I don't know if they pay these people or, I mean, I, I would think not. To sit there and just scream and have little orgasms when their fav favorite celebrity walks out. I just, I, I just don't know. I mean, um, it's, this world is, is really getting strange. I mean you know that um, so I'm just kinda scanning down through here I'm gonna start reading right here motherboard managed to chat with the man behind Bite Labs he goes by the name Kevin he explained that he is 100 percent serious he added each salami will have roughly 30 percent celebrity meat and 40% lab-grown animal meats. We're currently looking into ostrich and venison, but pork and beef are more popular in our early research. The rest will consist of fats and spices. 
This breakdown comes from consultation with expert food designers and chefs. Kevin also admitted to being inspired by Google, aren't we all? And it's edifying Google Burger. I'm not familiar with that. There doesn't yet appear to be actual agreement from these stars. Personally, though, I cannot wait to try whatever that word is. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, you know, the pictures are there and here on there. Here's James Franco. He's sexy. He's artsy. Let's make him salami. I don't know who this guy is. I mean, I'm, I'm so out of touch with uh, celebrities. Um... You know, this way it may well be a huge hoax. I mean, you know, probably is, but I mean, I, I bet there's, even if it is a hoax, there's tons of people out there that's just, their mouth is watering just imagining this, you know, and maybe they'll get to become just a little bit like their favorite, favorite celebrity. It's eco-friendly. Uh, celebrity meat production requires less than 1% of the amount of land needed for traditional farming. Currently, 70% of the world's farmland, almost 30% of the entire Earth's surface, is used for raising animals. Meat production today is simply unsustainable. Unless a radical change is made, the price of meat will eventually rise out of control. Lab-grown meats are the future. And health. Oh, it's got to be good for you, I'm sure. Uh... Bite Labs meats are not affected by growth hormones administered to farm animals, nor are they in contact with pesticides or other chemicals. Not just if it if it was real, it's just they're they're chock full of vaccines and poison, fluoride, uh, GMO food, uh, all the the chemtrail residue. It's just chock. Well, I guess the rest of our meat is too. But uh, as far as a lot of that goes, but. Uh, Farms are dirty and animals prone to infection. Bite, la Bite Labs is a clean space where we can grow safer, healthier products. You know. I mean. I'm just going to stay in it here for a minute. Uh, get involved is the tab. Helps help get us uh, here. We can. We can hashtag eat celebrity meat. I mean, uh, get on Twitter and do that, or whatever that hashtag means. There, I'm not even up on Twitter either. Um, I guess there. I guess there's a picture back to the article of of them actually doing it. Yeah. Well, and you know, here's Chris. Uh, this is the writer of the article, so it's not somebody that is to do with Bite Labs. Okay, so I was getting ready to to go off on the wrong tangent there. Okay, so that's enough about this. About this, but uh, but check it out if you want to. I mean, how much sicker can we get? I'm sure we'll find out soon. All right, take care.